but we all know what it's like to be afraid. We know how fear feels, but I'm not sure we spend enough time thinking about what our fears mean. As we grow up, we're often encouraged to think of fear as a weakness, just another childish thing to discard, like baby teeth or roller skates. And I think it's no accident that we think this way. Um, neuroscientists have actually shown that human beings are hardwired to be optimists. So maybe that's why we think of fear sometimes as a danger in and of itself. Don't worry, we like to say to one another. Don't panic. In English, fear is something we conquer. It's something we fight, something we overcome. But what if we looked at fear in a fresh way? What if we thought of fear as an amazing act of the imagination? Our fears provoke in us a very similar form of suspense. Just like all great stories, our fears focus our attention on a question that is as important in life as it is in literature. What will happen next? In other words, our fears make us think about the future. And humans, by the way, are the only creatures capable of thinking about the future in this way. Now, some of us naturally read our fears more closely than others. Um, I read about a study recently of successful entrepreneurs, and the author found that these people shared a habit that he called productive paranoia, uh, which meant that these people, instead of dismissing their fears, these people read them closely, they studied them, and then they translated that fear into preparation and action. So that way, if their worst fears came true, their businesses were ready. And sometimes, of course, our worst fears do come true. That's one of the things that is so extraordinary about fear. Once in a while, our fears can predict the future. The silent buildup of plaque in our arteries, the gradual changes in our climate. Just as the most nuanced stories in literature are often the richest, so too might our subtlest fears be the truest. Read in the right way, our fears are an amazing gift of the imagination, a kind of everyday clairvoyance a way of glimpsing what might be the future when there's still time to influence how that future will play out. Properly read, our fears can offer us something as precious as our favorite works of literature. A little wisdom, a bit of insight, and a version of that most elusive thing, the truth. Thank you. <laughs>